In this video, we will discuss the C group block from the CMARP PC SAML library. In the last two videos, we discussed the C drive and C major blocks. This is the snapshot of runtime operator HMI. I clicked on the C group block and this is what appears on the HMI screen. In the C group block, when it is running in the automatic mode, just like you can see from here we can start and stop the group block directly from HMI for example we have four equipments four motors and we want to operate those motors simultaneously well we link these four motors or four equipments to a specific group this is the logic of the group function block those equipment which we want to run simultaneously we associate it to the C group block. The working of the block both in HMI and logic will be discussed in the coming video but in this video I will discuss the input and output interfaces of the C group block. So on the HMI it looks like this we can start and we can stop all the equipments which are in the group in the automatic mode if we want to operate each device in local mode we just simply switch it to the local mode the local mode means the local start and local stop buttons will become active and that device can be operated locally single means to individually operate that equipment from the faceplate HMI while the automatic means to operate all the equipments simultaneously by clicking the start button and to stop them directly we will click the stop button when we click on the diagnosis of the C group block you can see some interlocks start operating switch off interlock some other signals the feedback on feedback off signals command on command off some parameters and some output interface signals let me talk about all these input and output interfaces let's go to the logical section of the semantic manager so here is the logical section so here is the plant view of the project this is the c group function block it has input interfaces and output interfaces the first one GBVG it is a start interlock GBVG it is operation interlock GAVG it is switch off interlock to operate motor before the operation of the motor start interlock has to be fulfilled or it has to be high in other words it is the condition the number of equipments that are associated with this CMART block will operate if over here it is zero or well the group will not operate the group will not start this is how start interlock works those devices which has to be operated which has to be in operation for the equipment in the group to operate well all those devices need to be linked to this input interface this is the operation interlock operation interlock means these devices has to be in operation once they are in operation then the number of devices that are associated with this group will operate otherwise it will not operate very simple and this is switch off interlock if this is zero well all the devices or all the equipments in this group will stop to operate these input interfaces are not frequently used but if it is required we can use it like based on our requirement this is the feedback these two input interfaces grez and graz they stand for feedback on and feedback off signal well feedback on means all the devices in this group for example we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 equipments in this group. So the run signal of this 16 equipment has to be ended and finally fed to this GREZ and this will one. Once this is one, it means all the 16 devices are in operation and the feedback is on. While this means all the operational signals of these 16 devices will be ended and then inverted. So this will be zero in case all these 16 equipments are in operation. If any of the devices or equipment is not in operation, then the signal over here will be zero and it will be one on these input interfaces. It means the feedback on is not high, which in other words mean that the group is not in complete operation. So these are feedback on and feedback off signals. Well, these are some input parameters, horn time, wait time and release time. Well, horn time means that whenever a start command is given to the group, well, a horn signal will be initiated at this GHA output interface for 10 seconds. For 10 seconds, this output will be high in other words, and we can use it for physical horn or physical alarm. Well, the entire parameter set is not important to discuss, but I am discussing the most frequently used. Well, whenever a start command is given by the operator to the group, the GBE, this is the command on output interface. This signal will become one for a few seconds for a short time a pulse will be generated similarly if the operator wants to stop the group gba this is the command of output interface and this signal will be one for a short time so pulse are being generated at these two output interfaces well a pulse at command on this is then linked with C drive command on input interface and whenever a pulse is generated it is directly going to the C drive block input command on interface and that drive will start operating. Similarly a pulse at the command of output interface is linked with the command of input interface of the C drive block and hence that respective drive will stop operating. GDE and GDA these are like the off and on output interface except the fact that it is permanently on and permanently off. Instead of pulse, just like we have pulse on this GBE and GBA, in case the operator start or stops the, the, the group, well, in the case of operator starting the group, a permanent one signal will be initiated. In case the operator permanently stops the group, well, a GDA signal, command off, a permanent one signal will be output at this output interface. GRE and GRA are the feedback off and the feedback on signal just like we have over here. If the feedback signal on is high, well the GRE will be high. If the feedback of GRAZ is zero, well the GRA, whatever the status is over here, it will be output at this output interface. So this is just the copy of the GREZ and GREZ signal which is coming over here at the input interface. So this is feedback on and the other one is feedback off. Now we have GLO and GES. Well, you might be aware that the devices or the equipments operate in local mode, single mode or automatic mode. So if the operator select the local mode as 
I selected in the beginning of this video well if the operator select the local mode GLO will be one and this GLO is linked with each C drive block or each equipment in this group so when it is one all the devices will go to the local mode GES stands for single mode and in case we have one over here or in case the operator selects the, the single mode a one signal will be initiated and it will be interlinked with each C drive block and all the equipment in this group will go to the single mode in case GLO GES both are zero the group is in automatic mode GQS well GQS is quick stop whenever the operator wants to quick stop the group it will click the quick stop button on the HMI and a one signal will be initiated and we can link it to all the equipments and the, all the equipments in the group will suddenly stop operating last but not the least G-Link G-Link is the output interface to which each device in this group is linked or interconnected for example we want to include a, six, a 17th equipment in this group we will link this output interface with the group link of that C drive block and then we will link G local, GES, GBE and GBA with the respective interface of that equipment C drive block and the running signal will be feedback to these AND and NAND block respectively and hence their device will be included in this group. So this is the brief introduction of the input and output interface of the C group CMART PC7 library block. In the next video, I will show you how we can navigate in the logic and how the C group block is linked with C drive block and, and how the relevant signals are interlinked. So the working of the C group block will be shown in the next video. That's it for now. Please subscribe to my channel. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. See you in the next video.